So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure you boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Well then, it should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? <laughs> you smoke? Sitio más tétrico. ¡Eh! ¿Hay alguien ahí? He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Corny, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long.
Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? in like this. Busco a un Felicia. Vino aquí. Excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? ¡Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Where's everyone going? Bingo? That hurts, you know? It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? 
I know those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? <clears throat> Joder, not this guy! Who are you? Okay, stop right there! Don't you think? <clears throat> You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Oh, what the fuck? Hey, stop it. Hey, Yankee. Got your name? Leon. Quiet type, eh? I'm Luis Serra. Guess you, me, picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey! Stop it! You move, I move. And I'm beat up in office cities. I can see you're thinking. Bet you've been in spots like this before, huh? I guess you're here looking for someone. One more guess. Maybe some missing senorita? Young girl? Talk. Now. All right. See, si. her chatter about moving a senorita. Moving her? Where? Who knows? But later, saw some men dragging someone to the old church. <laughs> Hanging with you, not help. Hey, we're not done here! Later, amigo. <sighs> hey. Hey, wake up. Ay, uh, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole, and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? 
Phew, policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not done. Hey! Do something, cop! After you! Now! Ashley. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. Easy with that. My name's Leon. I'm here in the president's quarters and... That one, well. Hey, it's dangerous outside. You need to listen to me. What is that? Over there? Pursue them. <laughs> the last lambs are escaping. Deliver unto them. Salvation. Trust me. And I need you to trust me too. And do exactly as I say. I'm gonna get you home safe. Okay. Okay, Leon. Take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Hey! Over here! I see you found your missing senorita. Senorita has a name and it's Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. Now then. <clears throat> Who are you? And what are you doing here? Very good questions, unfortunately. Uh, hide. Now. In that case... Here! Help me. Ashley, quick! Over here.
Ashley. What's, what's happening to me? Ashley, is this the first time you've coughed on blood like this? Do you want to start explaining? The cough, the blood, is caused by something called the plaga. Okay. You saw those people, right? But you have the same thing inside you. The same thing that made them like that. This, what you're experiencing, these symptoms. They're only the beginning. I don't want to become like them. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with the surgical procedure. And all you need is some know-how. And oh yeah, the right equipment. Wait, you too? No worries. See, I have a plan. But you're going to have to trust me. Great, we're partners then. Hey, why are you... No time for any questions. The clock is ticking. Why are you helping us? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. I will contact you later. Say it, but we're sandwiched, all right. Quick, in that cabin. <laughs> Leon. Small world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh, excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she... well, you know... Don't worry. She's cool. Eh, never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. Look! Ashley, upstairs! Okay, it's game time. Vamos. Looks like they're backing off. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out, so I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. Feeling better? Yeah. Seems like it worked. Bad news? All we've done is buy you some time. The suppressant's effects will wear off all too soon. You ready to go? Don't worry about me. Ashley is the priority. In that case, we know what we have to do. Then come, Sancho Panza! Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea! You're gonna hurt yourself. Hey, that was my dance. Okay, we hurry, I get it. We're out of that hell. The fresh air is calling our names. For fin! Gus, if we made it all this way, you know it means we're almost... Almost what? <coughs> Louis! <laughs> Long time no see, rookie. Major Krauser? What the hell? Why? Recovering stolen goods. And killing a few rats along the way. Enough play, rookie. You haven't changed a damn bit. What a disappointment.
not looking good, eh, my friend? And such a loss to the ladies of the world. Don't talk. Take this. The key to my laboratory. Go there and remove those damn parasites. Help Ashley. Lewis, I've got something for you guys. Uh, what? Oh, shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you- It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. Leon! I got it! I have the sample. You serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay with me, Lewis. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! Nuestro jefe se curará de la rata. Si la plaga es mucho mejor que la nuestra. <risa> ¿Qué 
You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood? Grant me the strength to crush your enemies. Son of a bitch! Ashley, run! Okay. Hustle away, go. God, I thank you for your gift. You want to get ugly? Let's get up. My regards to your god. <laughs> hey! You coming? Leon! Hey! Come on! It's dangerous! Welcome. <laughs> Thanks. What's going on? At least we don't have to worry about being followed. Come on.
You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. side of the bridge. Yeah. a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. Who the hell are you? Me? Oh, please, call me Ramon, and allow me to get straight to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me, now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy, how novel. Nonetheless, you see, the girl must be ours. With a girl as the very source, your United States, and then the entire world shall overflow with his grace. For that is the iron will of my master, the most holy, Lord Sadler. So then, you will comply, yes? Never! You heard the lady. How unfortunate. 
do make sure our guest feels at home, now that he has chosen death. Leon? Just stay close. And so, I have delivered <sighs> the girl to you as promised. Do tell our lord to not forget the loyalty of his servant, Ramon. <clears throat> Ashley! Leon! Such a fool, Mr. Kennedy. To have been bestowed with Lord Sadler's... You talk too much. You failed! <laughs> I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with a prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never! Got that right. We'll find a cure. What a pleasant surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Ashley. Leon! <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? Satisfying sound of one's impalement. Don't fall for this old trick. How dare you! No more games! Kill him! Kill! Quickly! We shall prepare for the ritual! You again. The sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual, it's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry. We've prepared a special ritual for you.
The ritual is over. She left with my men to an island. What? I think it's time I paid my due respects towards your impressive and stubborn will. Mr. Kennedy, welcome. Damn it. Looking for something? You look like you've got something to say. I have something to ask you. But I don't think I'll get a straight answer. Raccoon City. You know, after the incident, the world changed. You try to save one person, a hundred others die. I guess I changed too. <laughs> you? Leon S. Kennedy. You haven't changed. You just think you have. So here's my question. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? What do you think? We're here. Don't think too hard, handsome. See you later. Story of my life. Need a ride, handsome?
Looks like this is it. Ugh, it stinks. Sure does. No way, Leon. Way? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. You... What is this? <clears throat> Come on, let's go. Oh. This time... It has to be different. You go first. No way. Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. gonna die. Okay. You did this. Yeah. Yeah, I did this. Can you stand? <clears throat> the map? Yeah, I found it. I think it says we can get out if we go. This way. Hey, we're a team, right? Keep this up. I'll be out of a job. This hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. Sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. I thought you were gonna die. All right, guess I'm up. <laughs> you okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. <laughs> Long time no see, rookie. Major Krauser? What the hell? Why? Recovering stolen goods. And killing a few rats along the way. Easy work. Ashley, it was you who oh, catch on quick. Didn't I teach you? Knives are faster. 
Enough play, rookie. You haven't changed a damn bit. <laughs> what a disappointment. You've done well to make it this far, rookie. I've prepared a battlefield up ahead just for us soldiers. Watered by the blood of generations, hundreds of years, it's the perfect place to put an end to what happened two years ago. <clears throat> I've been waiting for you, uh, rookie. Ah, oh, worried about the girl, is that it? <clears throat> That's just like you. You always had poor judgment. But if you think I'm gonna let you out of here alive, you're even more naive than I thought. You can't save her. You can't save anyone. Give it up, Krauser. Being a lackey for these maniacs won't bring your men back. And what the hell for? Revenge on the government? You think they would want that? Revenge. You think I'm doing all this? For revenge. Isn't that what this is all about? See, in that jungle, I had a revelation. The most important thing in this world is pure, unadulterated power. Those Illuminados have given me that. You know, you were always an asshole. <laughs> but at least you had some kind of code. Some honor. Look at you now. Enough reminiscing. Move out and draw fire, soldier! Are we done here, Krauser? I told you. Again. And again. Too soft to do what's necessary. That's the difference between you and me, Rookie. Lesson starts right now. No. Time for the teacher to be taught. Oh, such confidence. Free it, rookie!
on. That you did, Major. That you did. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got you on quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> the sample Sadler developed, that's all. <laughs> Leave Ashley out of this! Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me. Like you, I'm American. You got her involved just for that? Talk. Die, comrade! <laughs> Ada! Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life. But it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here? Maybe some other time. So, you two are all hooked up now, is that it? Where's Ashley? Do you really want to know? She's beyond that gate. But you'll need three insignias to open it. What are you gonna do, Krauser? There's one in the north, and the other in the east. And let me guess, you got the last one. <laughs> it pretty much means you're on a tight leash. Sounds like you thought this one out pretty well. What do you intend to do restoring Umbrella? To bring order and balance to this insane world of ours. A psycho like you can't bring order or balance. You don't seriously think a conservative mind can chart a new course for the world, do you? Don't just stand there. Come out and fight like a man. I'm not falling for that one. 
Just trying to have fun. Two down, one more to go, Krauser. <laughs> we'll see about that. Completely, Krauser. Prepare for your death, Leon. So, it seems you killed Krauser, too. How shall I return my appreciation? What are you talking about? I thought he was with you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you really think I'd trust an American? To tell you the truth, I was contemplating how to get rid of him. But thanks to you, that's no longer necessary. You were just using him right from the start. Oh, I must hand it to you. You've demonstrated quite a bit of promise by killing Krauser. When your assimilation with Las Plagas is complete, I'll have you serve as my guard. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to decline your generous offer. I have prior engagements. <laughs> Enjoy your smart-mouthing while you can. Prostrate yourself. This is our holy body. Our divine providence and soon. Such a profound blessing for all. Lost planet. Welcome, my children. I am Osman Sattler, the speaker for our Lord. Tell someone who gives a shit. Foolish lambs. Why do you deny grief? Now, abandon your body. Obey. Obey the voice of our Lord. No! No! Stop! Sweet child, do not resist. <laughs> Pray forgive these wicked sinners. My faithful disciples shall deliver to you your penance. Now, child. You need not be afraid. Submit your body and release yourself from fear. A humble wish, don't you think? You see, we are all connected through the holy body. And now your flesh and bones, your very thoughts, are already one with us. Bullshit. Why do you reject serenity when you need only accept the sacred gift? 
like she did. Sadler! <laughs> ah, yes, the time has come for this lamb to join our covenant. Oh, blessings unto him and the sweet mercy they bring. Exalt, Paul, and let it be done. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we... Kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. <laughs> you okay? Uh, Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. It seems that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. 
Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of this swine while you're at it. Consider it done. I can feel them growing ever so strongly inside you. Sadler! <laughs> Perhaps you can resist, but you cannot disobey. Now, come to me, Ashley. Already begun. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Ada! Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back! <laughs> you alright? I'm not sure that was insane.
Mission accomplished, right? Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. You know, I could put in a word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested. You don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. Even if you could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. Condor One? Bruce to Condor One, do you read me? Come in. I said, come in. Is this thing even on? Leon. Leon, are you and Ashley all right? Where are you? Come on! Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. <laughs>